But the argument right now is that the costs are actually going up. Well, the costs have, have gone up, but lower than what was predicted. In okay. the first few years, it is well documented that the cost curve was lower than was expected. Now, that may change for a couple of years, back and forth. But mm -hmm. overall, it has done that. And we haven't experienced the full effect yet of what I just discussed, is that 20 million people who used to not have coverage now have coverage. Now, we need to make the exchanges more attractive. We need to figure out ways that people would more quickly engage in this kind of a program. They have very specific ideas. Sending emails to young people about this instead of letters. You know, that, that there's a different response to that sort of thing. But there's more global things you have to do. You have to make sure that somehow people have an adequate opportunity to afford uh, the Affordable Care Act, not only because it's going to be affordable for them, but that's going to provide those private insurers who are either leaving or hesitant with a better mix of, of people. The problem that's identified, which is, is a legitimate thing for the insurance companies to say, is we're getting way too many sick people and we can't make a go of it. Getting more people who might get sick or might be more frail into the Affordable Care Act means a better mix and a better opportunity for the private insurers and hopefully they'd be more likely then to either uh, participate in, in the exchange or at least their private, if they don't, at least their policies are likely to be more affordable. 